The city of Murfreesboro strives daily to provide the very best to its citizens when it comes to emergencies. Whether natural or man-made, the city consistently works to be prepared. With good pre-planning and adequate training, the city strives to be ready when an emergency occurs. The city's emergency management plan assigns emergency responsibilities to city departments and identifies the personnel, equipment, facilities, supplies, and other resources that are needed to respond appropriately. It also serves as the basis for training personnel to respond to an emergency. At its core, the city's plan is about prevention, preparedness, response, and recovery, PPRR. Let's talk about the first P, prevention. The city's plan has been developed to address all types of situations, including weather emergencies such as tornadoes and ice storms. Obviously, these situations cannot be prevented, but measures can be taken to prepare for their effects. Benjamin Franklin said, if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. That is certainly true for emergency preparations, and that failure can have serious consequences. To prevent those consequences, for example, the city's Building and Codes Department enforces life safety ordinances for both residential and commercial structures. Another means of prevention is tree trimming performed by the city's Electric and Streets Department. Falling tree limbs could be catastrophic for power lines, not only for a potentially dangerous loss of power, but because of potential that people come in contact with downed but still live high voltage power lines. The city also enforces other statutes and regulations that are designed to prevent emergency situations. For example, there are very important laws pertaining to transporting and handling hazardous materials. Of course, some activities are criminal and the city is vigilant in its law enforcement efforts. Remember our emergency plan's core purpose, PPRR? The second P is preparedness. The Emergency Management Plan provides a wide array of information about emergency readiness. According to the plan, the city has identified three levels of emergencies, alerts, localized emergencies, and citywide emergencies. Examples of alerts include event alerts, such as parades, traffic alerts, weather alerts from the National Weather Service, or alerts concerning significant incidents in the community, such as a major fire. Localized emergencies usually involve particular areas or neighborhoods within our city. Examples of localized emergencies include storm or weather damage in a concentrated area, hazardous materials incidents requiring evacuation or shelter-in-place procedures, flooding in a particular area of the city. A citywide emergency is an incident or event that impacts a large portion of or all of our city. Examples of citywide emergencies include major winter storms that compromises travel, electricity, etc. A major storm such as a tornado that produces widespread damage to our city. During any of these types of emergency situations, the city may work with state and federal authorities. In severe weather, agencies such as the National Weather Service provide up-to-the-minute information so that public safety first responders and other city officials are informed and ready. Now, the first R in our emergency response acronym is RESPONSE. Any response to an emergency must be quick and definitive. Of course, those type of responses take planning, preparation, and coordination. It also requires the availability of resources, including people and equipment. To make sure that happens in a major event, the city maintains an Emergency Operations Center, or EOC, that can be activated at any time. The EOC coordinates to the deployment of resources in our community. This includes personnel, supplies, equipment, shelters, medical care, etc. Public communications, also extremely important in an emergency, can also be coordinated and disseminated in an appropriate fashion from the EOC. Because emergency situations require varying responses, the city ensures that it has sufficient resources or that the resources will be provided through coordination with our local, state, and federal partners. The last R in our emergency plan acronym, PPRR, is recovery. When an emergency occurs, the city stands ready to assist in recovery efforts to get its citizens, businesses, and city operations back to normal as quickly as possible. After a major emergency, this may mean working closely with state, federal, and nonprofit agency partners. Recovery is not always easy, and some emergencies can take a significant toll on the community. 
We recognize, however, that it can serve as a major catalyst in the efforts required to return to the excellent quality of life we enjoy in Murfreesboro. In closing, it is important that the citizens and businesses of Murfreesboro know that the city works very hard to be ready for any emergency situation. If you should ever have any questions regarding our emergency management plan, please call the Public Information Office.